Hi, I'm Acanthostega, and I'm one of the most primitive amphibians. I am an amphibian. I possess arms and legs with fingers and toes. I possess a neck. But that being said, I have many fish-like features, where I still have a notochord going through my vertebral column. I don't have a sacrum, so I can't really walk on land. At least I can't support my weight on land. I spend most of my time in the water, which is why my tail possesses the bony rods typical of fish tails. I have a large number of fish features, and I don't have the features of the modern amphibians. I don't even have five fingers and toes. I have eight. And so I'm a transitional form showing what some of the earliest amphibian body plans look like. I'm Ichthyostega. I'm more adapted to land than Acanthostega. I have the same three hip bones that all later tetrapods will have. I've got stouter ribs, and I've got the beginnings of a sacrum, and so I'm better at living on land. But that being said, I still possess a notochord running through my vertebral column, and bony rods in my fishy tail, and skull bones which support internal gills, and a lateral line system of my skull, and I have seven fingers and toes, and so I have a number of primitive features as well. So, like Acanthostega, I am a very early transitional form here in the late Devonian. So many of the early amphibians evolved huge sizes compared to their modern relatives. They could be three meters, four meters, I could be nine meters in length, the largest known amphibian. While most of the largest forms evolved in the Paleozoic, a few survived into the Mesozoic as well and lived alongside the dinosaurs. We were huge! One group of Paleozoic amphibians were the Aestopods. They had a snake-like body, but they were amphibians. They possessed no legs or limb girdles, and the number of vertebrae along their backs could number up to 230. Many types of Paleozoic amphibians there were. Nectridians were a group of aquatic amphibians with small limbs. Some retained the lateral line systems that had been present in fish. This group included Diploceraspis and its kind with their distinct V-shaped heads. Microsaurs were another group of very diverse Paleozoic amphibians. So the amphibians of the Paleozoic diversified quite a great deal. I am Triodobatracus, sir. I am related to frogs, but I am not a frog. My skull is perhaps similar to frogs, but my legs aren't long, and so I'm a four-legged walker rather than a jumper. And so Triodobatrachus of the Triassic and Geropatrachus of the Permian are considered transitional forms in the ancestry of frogs. There is a type of amphibian alive today called Sicilians. They tend to live in more tropical areas. Now, they are legless today, but I am the earliest fossil Sicilian, and I still possess legs. I am a transitional form with not only these legs, but many of my skull bones as well, showing that the ancestors of the legless Sicilians today were indeed walking amphibians.